Hi, I'm Shannon Steimel, Library Media Specialist and Technology Committee Co-Chair at Live for Life Academy. I'm fortunate to live in St. Louis where METC Ed Plus is located. They are one of the official providers of ISTE certified educator training. It is a two-day on-site training followed by an eight-week online course and then six months to create your portfolio where you connect the work that you're doing to the ISTE standards. So um, as a library media specialist, I currently serve students in grades six through 12, and we are planning on opening an elementary school next year, so I'm also starting to develop lesson plans for those students as well. My responsibilities as a technology committee chair include overseeing the technology plans of the staff, planning the um, professional development for our staff in terms of technology, and overseeing our digital badge program. In addition to providing professional development for my staff, I also often present at local and regional conferences, and I host my own virtual mini conferences on my PD Bytes YouTube channel. So my students in my portfolio art facts are sometimes actual K through 12 students and sometimes my adult colleagues. Before ISTE certification, I was familiar with the new standards, but I did not feel like I had a firm grasp on their implementation. For instance, I'm a member of the METC Advisory Council, so I often help score proposals. METC proposals are always aligned to the ISTE standards. Before this training, I would always have to have the standards pulled up in order to score how well the proposals were aligned to them. Having worked with the standards for most of the school year, I feel like I'm more grounded in them now. What I love about the refreshed standards is how student-centered they are, rather than being skill-based like the old standards. They're all about how we as educators can help our students be become empowered learners, able to navigate and succeed in a largely digital world. This training came at a perfect time for me when I am in the process of revamping my curriculum. I love that the ISTE standards are crosswalked with the new AASL library standards and they connect very seamlessly. The standards also inform how I conduct technology professional development with my staff. The thing I'm particularly proud of in my portfolio is how easy it was for me to connect my work to the standards. What I found as I started to gather artifacts for my portfolio is that most of the standards were already embedded into my teaching practices. I'm particularly proud of being able to highlight my work advocating for digital equity in my portfolio. Working at a high poverty school, it's a topic I care deeply about. I want to ensure that my students have a level playing field with their more affluent peers. Creating my ISTE portfolio has also helped illuminate those areas where I wasn't as strong, which allows me to set goals going forward. Two particular areas of weakness I plan to focus on relate to student data privacy and parent communication. As a librarian, one of my jobs is to curate digital resources for our students and staff. And I want to ensure that we are choosing digital tools that protect student data privacy. This is something that I hadn't really focused on before. I've also realized that I need to do a better job communicating with parents. I use Twitter to share out what we are doing in the library, but I think I need to find a better way to directly communicate with parents. I also feel like helping families guide their children in terms of digital citizenship has been a missed opportunity, and I want to explore that more. Becoming a ISTE certified educator has been a wonderful learning process for me and I encourage everyone to consider it. Check out METC Ed Plus for more details.